Hi streamers and content creators. I'm looking a little different there. That's a little better. This is neat, right? We're exploring the world of PNG tubing, especially with ViaTube Mini. This beautiful program has let us be able to create a regular PNG tuber look more animated and alive. Look at the way it bounces. And not only that, you can change the expression. So here's if it looks a little sad. And here's if it looks crazy angry. Let's go over it right now. There are background colors that you can choose. Green, blue, pink, and transparent. When I was using green, that's already a no because of this little clover. Then magenta, somehow there's some red in the line art. So when I do it, it looks a little faded away. So with magenta, you see how it's kind of faded away. We don't want that. Then let's do green. The flower's gone. Then let's try blue. Let's try blue. That whole bear is gone. I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know how that happened. I don't think there's a lot of blue in it, but it is what it is. The nice thing about this tool is that it has a built-in transparent option. So for when you are setting it up on OBS, works just fine. So another cool thing about P Via Tube Mini is that it has a microphone sensitivity. So this will control how loud you have to be for the mouth to open. And this lets the delay of how long your mouth is open stay open. So you see it up here, it closes pretty quickly. But if I put it all the way down here, there's a big, big delay. So this button right here lets you save a Viadu Mini file. Oh, so that you can not, you don't have to set this up again and you can have different characters for all your OC needs. And what's really nice when you're setting it up, see, let's set up one right now. I'll do the character one. So, and I'll do this one, character two. This makes it easy for us to hop from one emotion to the other one. These modes up here can control whether your mouth is open and closed, but not just that, it adds a little blinking effect so that your VTuber can feel a little more alive. You can also have it swaying. Look at the various options. Let's see. Shaking. Shaking more. Bouncy. Excited. Nervous. Actually, this would be great for the crying one. And static. And it also has a little jump when we talk. You can also change this if you don't want to have anything. You can leave it to none. Let's set up one together. So we have the default state of closed mouth image with open eyes. We want to have another one where the mouth is open. So let's select it here. As you can see, I made a little profile, like a little folder that contains all the images to make it easier for myself. So there, now we have it where its mouth is opening up, but it's still not blinking. So we'll need to add one with the bare eyes closed. And now bare eyes closed, but with the mouth open. And officially, we can have our PNG tuber blinking. Again, to add a little bit more life to it, let's make it <laughs> jump around like this. But let's make our PNG even more fed up than before. So here I am. I'm going to save this very quickly to arms thrown up in the air. We'll do mad arms and to save my time on naming conventions i just go back to select the right appropriate name for the other one so you'll see here quick export as png i go to my mad folder and i look for this one is bare eyes open Ta-da! I really love that a lot. It's the cutest shit I've ever seen. I don't know if the mic caught that, but I hope that caught it as a great endorsement. <laughs> a really cool thing that you can do with this is that you can make the images for the mouth open and the mouth closed different so that you can make a PNG tuber look kind of crazy like this. Like the arms are just slapping angrily on the desk and its arms are fed up when they're high up in the air. Like, what the heck, dude? Ba 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 ba. Da, da. Da, da. Yeah. One thing to note when you are making a PNG tuber 
you need to have the canvas size or the image size the 2048 because mine was a lot bigger than that and uh, I had to receive them which isn't fun so make sure that the height is 2048 uh, the width is 2048 if you'd like um, for very clean looking and and another tip something I again didn't do is it would be great to resize them appropriately so that can be like the best quality see how mine is a little way too big for the canvas size so if you just resize it so or crop it in my case let's see so that your png fits the mold it will come out a lot bigger on via the tube mini so instead of having this kind of smaller size for reference my PNG tuber looks like this, which is kind of tiny. So to make it look bigger, crop it to the right size. Like this is. See the difference in size? Use up as much space as your canvas allows you to and make it 2048 for the biggest size, the maximum that you can make. I like to mention as well that when you are creating your PNG tuber, even though you want to use up all the canvas space, still leave some white space in between all your corners. And you also want to keep this image like not don't, don't move around like essential assets, right? This will all look like a little odd and the final product and it'll jump around and you won't have control over it like you have it here. You see when it's static, these are perfectly aligned to each other. Let me take that off. Perfectly aligned to each other. This is how you want to have it. So it doesn't look like this unprompted. Let's say you have a PNG tuber, but you don't have blinking options. So you can still use the program. You can just fill out these two if you would like, or you can also fill this out with the same image as closed mouth image. And then the open mouth blinking image can be the same image as open mouth image. So the good thing about it is that I can still take advantage of these little motions. So if you only have two images, this program can still work for you. Especially makes it easy to switch around. And feel free to experiment with this. Here I have it with like, I think, different images, but even the open mouth has a different eyebrow movement. It can look a little janky though. Another idea when using this tool is having a GIF on the ready. So to switch between two little GIFs. This is how you can set up, and this is for reference, mouth open, mouth closed, and you have a funky little GIF, a little GIF tuber. GIFs, to, so I'll, I'll say, ah, yeah, it looks cool. Let me go over a little bit on how to set it up on OBS as well. You want to do a game capture and let's just make this one. Let's create a new one. PNG tuber. Make source visible. Here we want to capture specific window. We will, we can't, you don't have to have your cursor. Allow transparency. That's very important to pick. So here, just taking a look at these. Allow transparency. Capture specific window via the tube mini, match title. Otherwise find the same executable. Uh, you don't have to put any filters on here. The transparency within via tube mini makes it transparent. It makes it work pretty, pretty nicely. That is how you set it up in OBS. Do recommend the game capture because the game capture allows for transparency, which is so, so vital. You can always delete any of these, but so far, these are all... <laughs> this was probably my favorite PNG tubers that we have created among this tutorial. And from there, you should be good and all set to go. If there are other questions, again, you can leave them down in the comments and I will be putting up this little bear on my coffee shop once I finish all the various little items I want to give it. So as you can see here, once I finish all the accessories and gifts, because I want to make it a gift so that its little paws are like 
its little paw will move around with the mouse and um, tap on the keyboard. Main idea. And, and there will also be other animals such as super early working project for a cow, maybe a, maybe a pig, rat. We were doing in um, <laughs> sipping its little drink. Possible assets will have cheese and cake. Um, this will also be available on coffee after I finish drawing it. So yeah, some possible PNG tubers in the future. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, please give it a like if you did. And have a good nice one. Just oh, you're stuck in your shell. Yeah, I'm a little self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs>